So guys, today I'm doing a video because in the group, I think it was me or Justin, I'm not sure who suggested it, but uh, a few of us in the group are going to try to do about the same video so we can learn from each other uh, about once a week. I'm not sure if this is going to be a continuous thing, but we'll see. I'd like it to be. It'd be pretty cool. But at least as of right now, I know uh, Rearwolf on, on uh, YouTube is going to be one of them. He's already got his video loaded up right now for this one. And earning, what is it, at 40 plus, I think is the name of the channel. I could be wrong on that one. <laughs> I'll put a link to his channel too. Um, it's going to do a video also on what's in his pack for, well, we'll see what it is, what the title is. But I'm going to show you quickly, just a real quick rundown of what I'm going to take on the hike that I'm getting ready to do next week. Um, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, yeah, this thing's loaded down. Right now it is set at 50 pounds. My camera gear alone is 5 pounds of that way. That includes the batteries and the two cameras, and yeah, I'm taking the tripod for this other camera. But I'll show you what I got. This is a new uh, Nalgene bottle that I got. I like to carry these without water in them for the most part because it has the measuring device on the side, and when you get to camp, if you get a surplus of water, you can put it in here. I like having this separate, honestly, because I mix my uh, like Kool-Aid or uh, oh, <laughs> Gatorade, powdered Gatorade drinks in here. Like my flavored drinks in this bottle. I like doing that. Um, that way you can mix it correctly for the ratios. And this is a glow-in-the-dark one. I just thought it'd be neat to get a glow-in-the-dark one. I don't, you know, obviously didn't need that. And I got it just clipped to the side of my pack with a cheap uh, carabiner. And I don't carry the water in it like this. Uh, for the most part because that I believe would rip out um, just loosely laid on there also on the side of my pack I have got this thermometer what I like about this thermometer is it tells you the minimum and the maximum temperature it happened in that day and also digitally tells you what the temperature is now like right now it says it is 61 degrees it says that the minimum today was 61 degrees so yes the temperature is dropping and the maximum was 75 I just think that's pretty cool. And on the side of my pack here, I have a hydration bladder. Now this is a canvas pack that I have that I got off of uh, the Woodsman Trading Post. Love this pack. It is a heavy pack without anything in it, but it is built tough. I mean, I'm telling you guys, if you've seen some of my pictures, I don't know if I can add it in on this to show you at the end or something like that of me carrying this, but I've carried this thing. I've been practicing or trying to condition myself for this hike with my son up here and my daughter back here and I, I don't know what they weigh 30 40 pounds each something like that and this thing is held up what is nice about this pack is if you get snagged on a branch it's not going to rip your pack it's absolutely not going to rip your pack plus this thing is impregnated with wax um, the, the canvases to repel water it repels water excellent excellent so let's go to the other side of the pack Real quickly, on this side of the pack, I carabine her up this other side here usually, um, right here, and it hangs off the side of the pack. So in here is my camera gear, and I've got, yep, you've seen it in another video, my Crocs, and always carry an extra pair of sunglasses, because I cannot tell you how bad it sucks when you cannot see. It's good to wear on the trail anyway. That way you don't get poked in the eye, as long as there's enough sunlight, obviously. You don't get poked in the eye by a branch or something like that. And uh, when you're chopping wood or whatever, you know, protect the mice, because that's how it's, you're going to get out. You're going to get out with your eyes, guys. Um, there's a few things on here, obviously. I'm probably going to change everything. Who knows? <laughs> a few things on here, like uh, this crank radio flashlight. I'm thinking about taking, but I don't know if I want to carry the weight. What's nice about this is it has a weather uh, station on it. That way I can get an idea of what the weather is going to be like. Plus, if, you know, sometimes you get to camp, it helps you go to sleep sometimes if you need it. Uh, or it's just nice to listen to tunes while you're just having a good time. It's always nice. 
So we'll move on to the front of the pack. This little pocket right here. I'm gonna try to go quick, guys. I'm sorry. These things get lengthy. Just in here, I've got my toilet paper so I can get quickly to it. And as of right now, I got the shovel in my back pocket, but we'll stick that back in there. And because TP, when you need it, you need it. <laughs> you don't want to dig deep in your pack for that. You don't want to be asking your buddy, please hand me some toilet paper. <laughs> but I would if I had to. Uh, down in here, I've got <clears throat> my flint and steel. I really debated whether I want to take that. It is a luxury-ish, you know, I guess I'm going to call it a luxury item. But I like fire, and I really love fire. So I'm taking it. As of right now, obviously. And I've got my headlamp down in here. Uh, I've got my what I call my other fire kit, which carries the my um, lighter, some matches, um, extra fire starter, uh, like a, I don't know, things like that. Um, move on to my other area here, on the big pouch where I always carry a canteen. In this pouch here, I've got a uh, canteen, canteen stove, a uh, canteen cup, and also carrying my two trash bags. I'm thinking at this time, right now, I want to carry these two trash bags in here. So if I got a deep uh, creek to cross and I don't want to get my, can't roll my pants up enough for it, I can slip these on with my Crocs on one of my separate videos that I've showed you before uh, to keep dry. I also carry my Baco in here. This is orange. You guys have seen it in some of my other videos. Love the saw. If you've noticed in some of my videos, I haven't been carrying my axe here lately. And if you guys didn't know, which I probably haven't said this before, I nicked myself with my axe earlier this year. Actually, the video you've seen me do the cast iron with, I was trying to film the cast iron video, uh, cooking video, when I nicked myself with the axe. And ever since then, it's got me thinking. I don't really want to carry it right now. I've got a fear of it right now, to be honest with you, and I think if you fear an item, you shouldn't be using it, because you're more than likely going to hurt yourself with it. So, my leg is a little bummed still, I can still feel it, um, it doesn't bother me that bad, but I nicked it enough to get seven stitches, and if I'm on that hiking trail, I sure in the world know for a fact I do not want to be nicking myself with a sharp axe. So, just something to think about, guys. I see a lot of people carrying axes, and now anytime I watch a video with somebody using an axe, I just kind of cringe a little bit. <sighs> yeah, that that was smart. About passed out. <laughs> I really did. This is empty right now. This is my canteen. This is a kind of a clear one, a cloudy one. This is an Nalgene brand one. I like it because you can see inside of it. You can see how much fluid you have in it. This is what I carry water in here the whole hike. This is what I consider my backup water. Because when I run out of the water on my side, my hydration bladder, I know I still have this water. Because it's so easy to suck on that straw when, when you're hiking. And then, boom, you run out of water and you're like, crap. Now we need to go fill up and boil some water. But I always carry this in there full, knowing I have the water. So in case I can't find water. So, sorry, it's going to get lengthy, guys. I know it is, sorry. Really. Anyway, I'm not going to dig that out. I got my cup and my stove in there. Nothing new. You guys have seen it in the, my other videos. I'll put this stuff back in here, here in a little bit. I'll cut down on some of this time. So we'll get inside of it. I have a lot of bulky items. I haven't really... I just got to see the, the temperature yesterday. I think my mom sent me a, a link of the temperature, what it's going to be. Uh, it looks like it's going to be 60-something in the day and 40s in the night, so it's making me think about taking that wool blanket out, like I said, for bulk. I do have other th items in here to keep me warm. It could rain. It's the rainy season right now. I have this mesh bag. This You can get this at Walmart, I think, in the dryer section. Excuse me. Um, something I was thinking I could hang on the outside of my pack to put some stuff in to help air dry during the day if it's not raining. Got the hiccups. This is... <coughs> Yeah, I got the hiccup. Sorry, guys. I got 
uh, a poncho. This is a little poncho, real small, doesn't take up much room. Because I'm <clears throat> on hikes, if you're wearing rain suit, you can overheat with that. And what a poncho offers you at least is you can throw the poncho on, it'll throw it over your back, over top of your pack, and allows the air to flow in between your poncho. So I'm taking this, I am taking a rain suit also for when I'm around camp or possibly on the hike, but you can't overheat doing that. If it gets cool though, I'll be putting it on because the rain suit is nice if the wind starts picking up and you're a little chilled, that rain suit blocks the wind out for you because I'm not taking a coat. So I'll be taking the rain suit and <clears throat> some of my wool sweaters, things you've seen in some of my other videos. This is just my drop cloth that, or, that I always set on the ground underneath my hammock like usual to keep my stuff organized and also afford me a dry spot to put my gear. Um, sock liners. I haven't ever used sock liners, so I'm going to try those out. Hope I don't get blisters on my feet. I do have things to help try to procure to keep that from happening. Um, this is my rain suit. This is a frog tog set, top and bottom. This is my alcohol for my alcohol stove. Sorry, I forgot to tell you about that. I do have in the front down there, I do have my uh, Trangia burner. So I brought that just for lunches, something I don't, don't have to start a fire during lunch. Um, or if we don't want to start a fire, because you don't always need to, guys, just remember that. That'll save you some calories. You don't have to bust out a bunch of firewood. Um, but fires are nice. The area I am going in is known to have bears. Uh, the area does have black bears. I've never hiked in bear country. So any information you guys can give me, <laughs> I'd highly appreciate it. I've been thinking about getting some bear pepper spray, but that stuff is like $50, $60. So that's the only thing stopping me, but the more I think about it, I'd almost pay 600 bucks if I seen a bear. <laughs> I'd probably pay five grand if I seen a bear standing right in front of me for that pepper spray at that time. So maybe it's not so bad. Um, you guys can tell me if these things are a joke or not. I hope they're not. I got a bear bell right here. Something just to kind of make some noise, adds a magnet on it to shut the noise off, kind of. Um, here's my tube. I call this my emergency tube, per se. It has my first aid kit inside of it. This is right at the top of my pack, like you kind of seen there. Um, it has my first aid in it. and also has my um, extra fire components, things like that, compass. I may pull the compass out to go with the map that I showed in my other video. Um, it also has in here, I'm not going to pull this stuff out, but it has hot hands in here. Things like that you can slip inside your sleeping bag or whatnot to get you some extra heat to pump in there if you're cold. Um, the water's still going to be cold out there, guys. It's going to, you could get hypothermia. So these little hot hands like this are nice to throw in your pack. Um, I personally don't mind carrying the weight. That's why I hike with my kids on top of the pack sometimes. This pack will weigh closer to 100 pounds. Uh, but like I said, right now it's closer to about 50 pounds with the camera here. Um, in here is my trail tarp, or my tarp. Uh, this is a sill nylon that I got from the canteen shop. You can check out some of my other videos with me setting it up. I got stakes in here and uh, some paracord. This is my clothes bag. I've got, it's not too terribly big, but I got wool in here, I've, uh, an extra change of clothes, uh, socks, pair of undies, things like that. I'm not going to drag that out. And I like to eat, guys. So you know my famous food tube. <laughs> Kids are playing. Um, I just got in the woods here, guys. This is my famous food tube. I've got a bowl on the top here. And then the rest of these are all Mountain House meals. Um, there's seven meals in here total for lunch, supper, breakfast, lunch, supper, so on, so on. And always go with the hammock. Uh, this is my tinder bag, my new tinder bag that I just showed you a video of. Of course, I got tinder in there. This is my pillow. I could go without this, but it really weighs nothing, guys. <laughs> See? Nothing. It just takes up room in your pack. And it's kind of nice to have. It gives you that little comfort that after hiking so long, you so long for sometimes and I've got my pot I will not go without this I will promise you that this thing yeah I needed this last time and I know the value of this pot now 
and I don't want the smaller one, guys. I'm telling you right now. Um, love this thing. Of course, I've got my drinks and things like that, like my drink mixes and my uh, hot chocolate, my uh, <laughs> oatmeal, things like that in here. So I always have a little extra food in case something happens and it takes longer to get out. Because I've never hiked this area, I don't know what to expect. Of course, something can happen. So I always carry extra food because when you're hungry, you're not thinking right. And I don't like going hungry. Um, got my wool blanket in the bottom of this, guys. Um, I also have my Thermarest and I do have that um, Reflectix, piece of Reflectix in the bottom of this. I'm not going to drag this stuff out uh, for you guys. And of course, I got my pad that's in the back of my pack. And I got my cutting board just like in my other videos that I've shown. Uh, and like I showed you, I'm thinking about switching out. I mean, watch this, guys. Check this out. Sleeping bag. You guys tell me what you think I should do. Or. Wool blanket. I mean, this thing takes up so much room, it's not even funny. This is not even a comparison. This is huge. <laughs> but this thing has kept me warm every time I've been out. I've tested it. I know what to expect out of it. So that's why I'm leaning for this. You know what? This is so much smaller. And I know I can handle 40-some degree temperatures. I'm pretty confident of that. Especially with my wool um, sweater and my bottoms and things like that. That's all it's in my pack, guys. I don't want to drag this on any longer than it needs to be. Thank you for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Um, hope you guys check out the other two guys' channels. And anybody else that wants to join in on this, feel free to do it. This is great. I love it. We're all sharing. This is what we're supposed to do. And I'm just having a blast. So, get out in the woods, guys. Have fun. I can't wait to see your videos, too. Later.